Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own emoji pillow. Here's what you'll need. Some yellow fabric, coloured felt, a hot glue gun, a permanent marker, scissors, some stuffing and a dinner plate. So I'm just going to put my sunglasses emoji over here for now and clear my bench space so I've got all the room to work. I'm just going to put these to the side and we're going to keep our yellow fabric. Just grab about this much and I like to keep it folded over because we need two sides to the pillow. So I've put my dinner plate down and we're just going to trace around that now. So grab your permanent marker and trace all the way around the plate. Just like that. Now we're going to cut it out. If you can, keep your two fabric pieces together so when we cut it out, they stick together and are exactly the same size. So close! <laughs> so close. <laughs> Done. All right, so now we're ready to glue this together. And I'm actually just going to take my marker and make a gap about this big on the edge of the pillow. And this is where we're not going to put any glue. And what I'm going to do is work my way hot glue gunning all the way around the outline of the pillow, just little bits at a time. The only reason I'm not going to do it all in one go is because the glue dries too quickly. This way, it gives you a bit of time. And just to be careful, the hot glue gun is actually really hot. Nearly finished all the gluing, and remember, we're just going to stop at this line up here. There we go, and tap it just really quickly because it's too hot to touch and to hold down and press. But if you just give it a tap, then that'll help it really dry. Alrighty, so now we're going to take this gap and turn it inside out. So you can just push it through in on itself, like that, and stick your hand through the gap and go along all the edges. Ta-da! And our pillowcase is already coming together. So now I'm going to grab my coloured felt because it's time to do our face. I want black for the eyes and the smiley face, and I think red for the tongue. And I think for the eyes and the smiley face, I'm just going to map out the pattern that I want. So now it's time to do our tongue. Okay, now it's just time to glue down the features. Now all we have to do is stuff it and seal it up and ready to go. Be super careful again because remember just how hot it is. And pinch them tight, just like that. So that way you don't even have to touch the glue and they're going to be pressed together and dry. Ta-da! Now we are all done. I reckon it looks really cool and your emoji pillow can either join its friends or you could give it as a really awesome gift. Coming up, make a real live emoji with Jackie. right now, the little digital symbols and faces that you see in text messages and emails. You can have whole conversations without using any words at all. I mean, who needs words? <laughs> anyway, what you're going to need is some cardboard, some stencils to trace around, a permanent marker, some glue, sticky tape, 
sticks and scissors. Let's get started. Grab a piece of yellow cardboard, get a plate and draw around it. This will give you a perfect circle. And once you finish tracing, cut it out. winky face. Now the easiest way to start your face is to break it down into simple shapes. So we've got a semicircle, the tongue, we've got an upside down arch, we've got a circle for the eye and another semicircle for the wing. Now I'm going to start with my eyeball which is going to be on white paper and I just found this lid in my kitchen which will give me a perfect circle but look around your house I'm sure you'll find something. So just place it on your paper and trace around it. and then cut it out. All the mouths on emojis are brown. So I've got a nice brown bit of cardboard and I'm gonna draw a semicircle freehand this time and then join it up in a nice curve. If you don't have coloured cardboard at your house, you can always do it in white and then colour it in with markers after. And now for the cheekiest part, the tongue. I've just got some pink cardboard. And then an upside down archway. Drawing my emoji facial features, you don't actually use that much cardboard, so you can make as many as you want. Now everything's cut out, it's time to assemble the face and glue everything down. Now this is where you can hide all your messy permanent marker tracings. Just flip it over and glue the permanent marker side down on the paper. but it's time to draw in the details of the permanent marker, like the eyeball and the wing. Now for the wing. Just a semicircle. And draw over it a few times so it's nice and thick. Final step, flip your face over, get a stick and stick it down and you're ready to go. And there we go, that's my silly winky face done. <laughs> this is only one of thousands of types of emojis. There's ones like sunglasses face, the love heart face, even a poo head. And I've got some recruits to help me make some more. Oh, thank you. I'm here at the Sculpture by the Sea Festival in beautiful Sydney. It's a two kilometre coastal walk with sculptures lining the whole way. Sculpture by the Sea is an annual event that started at Bondi Beach in 1997.
It's a free art exhibition open to the public of sculptures by the sea. Just like it says on the tin, thousands of people visit each year and now it's even moved across country to Cottesloe Beach in Western Australia. There's over a hundred different sculptures at this event and the whole festival lasts for about three weeks. What a great place to have it. Now there are many different ways the artists can actually show off their sculptures. They can use the natural sandstone walls from around the walkway here, or they can even use a handrail like this artist has. Now one of the biggest things the sculptures have to do is be able to be resilient against the weather, like the wind, the rain, the sun. But most importantly, because you're allowed to touch the sculptures, the people. Now sculptures come in all different shapes and sizes, like this one behind me. What it does is it spins around and those big perspex plasticky looking things up there, on a nice sunny day like today, the sun catches them and shoots off this really cool rainbow all over the sand. Like, it's, it's everywhere. Hey, hello little rainbows. This is one of the sculptures. It's a lounge dressed like an octopus, not a real one. It's made out of fiberglass. It's part lounge, part tentacle, part awesome. Hi. Hey, how are you? Yeah. I ain't gonna see it. It's not, a, it's not <laughs> the biggest, biggest chair in the world, is it? <laughs> Sculptures can be big, but this one is huge. It goes from the point down there all the way up to the point over there. The X right here is meant to make you think and look out to the X in the water. One of the conditions of having a sculpture in this competition is that it has to be interactive. Oh, like this big guy. That's his face. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Nathan was here. Pretty awesome, but cupcakes normally take the cake when it comes to decorating sweets. But not today, because I'm going to decorate the humble donut with a leopard print inspired design. Here is what you're going to need four plain donuts, six piping bags, two have very small nozzles, and the other four just medium size, and six different bowls of coloured icing, and a tea towel. So I'm going to grab my donut and start to fill the piping bag. So I'm going to fill my first bag full of pink icing. And once it's in, you just have to squeeze it very slowly down the end of the bag so that it meets the nozzle. Cool. So I'm putting this bad boy down. I'm just going to fill up all the different piping bags with a different coloured icing. This icing's made from water and icing sugar. I find the consistency just works a bit better for icing. Cool. So I think they're basically ready. Pick your four colours. We're going to start off with pink. So I'm going to twist the top of the bag just to get all the icing down to the nozzle. Very slowly squeezed out. I'm using the slightly larger nozzles with my four base colours and just squeezing it onto the donut, like so. And you just need to have an even line between the colours. You just want the icing to be dripping and oozing down the edges, like this one. Just keep adding lines of colour until you've covered the entire donut. So I'm 
Looking good. No panicking. There's definitely no panicking here. So you just want to let it dry for 10 minutes and then we're going to add the spots. I've got the yellow that I'm going to make my spots with. I'm going to pop uneven circles onto the donut because it's a leopard and they're not even. Rock and roll. So now we're picking up the dark purple and we're going to do our circle around the outside of my yellow spot. It's a beautiful spot. Doesn't have to be accurate because it's all part of the drippy style. If you've missed any areas on your base coat, you can cover it up with leopard spot. Cool. So once it's dry, you're going to pop it on a clean plate and then it's ready to eat. Ooh. Hi, I'm Carly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carly, and it's time to get arty. So I'm going to show you how to turn your favourite piece of bling into something spectacular. The art I like to make is multimedia, so, you know, mixed mediums. We're talking plastics, fabrics, even stuff like tree branches and leaves. I just like the combination of um, mediums. Outside of Get Arty, I'm a producer, so I work in advertising and I project manage lots of different advertising communications. TV commercials, radio ads, online content, animation, a whole range of stuff. And now for the finishing touch, I'm going to glue this black bow to the top left corner. But this is your phone case, so make it as colourful or as out there as you like. My first memory of art is when I was at kindy and getting my face painted as a caterpillar. <laughs> I remember that moment because I thought I was a caterpillar and I thought I was the most amazing creature in the entire world. And it was a joyful childhood moment. <laughs> We're going to squirt it nice and evenly across our artwork. Year 10, 11 and 12, I did painting. And then I also did a mixed multimedia class, which was, you know, animation and other things on the computer. The longest time I've spent on a piece is probably in year 12, my final year of college. And for an entire year, I studied and sketched and drew <laughs> train pipes. Yes, I know, very interesting. And then at the end of the year, I produced a portfolio with these minimalist um, pipes that were just basically white and black lines. You know what? I think mine looks great. I can't come up with ideas sitting at home. And when I'm outside in the real world, whether it's shopping, looking at new fabric, it's just stuff in the real world that inspires me. The biggest mistake I've ever made is probably listening to other people and their opinions. You have to listen to your gut and just ignore what people think sometimes because you're never going to be able to please everyone. Perfect. What a great fit. Hi, my name is Kat and I'm a nail artist. Tilly just showed us how to put emojis on our bed and I'm going to show you how to put them on your nail bed. What you're going to need is black, yellow and red nail polish, some cotton pads, some nail polish remover, a thin brush, a dotting tool, some foil, a base coat, a top coat and a model. This is Monique. First, we're going to wipe down the nail with some cotton and some nail polish remover. Start by painting the whole nail yellow. Wait for it to dry and apply a second coat. To create the love heart eyes, pour some red polish onto the foil and dip your dotting tool or the back of the paintbrush into the polish and put two dots on the nail that overlap to create a love heart. 
Then using a thin brush, dip it into the red polish and draw two triangles at the bottom of the spots we just made. This completes the love heart. Wipe down the thin brush before putting it into the next colour. With the black, dip in the thin brush, draw a line straight across and a curve right underneath. This is a smile. <laughs> Finish it off with a glossy top coat. Now talk to the hand has taken on a whole new meaning. <laughs>